just hit the ground in uh, Sichuan, Banna. Sichuan, Banna. And we are heading to uh, Meng Pai. It's pretty good. Yeah, thanks. And uh, we got about an hour cab ride ahead of us. It's smoking hot here, like 27 degrees. Uh, it's the jungle. We're in the jungle now. See you soon. So as you can see, I'm super excited. It's our first time in Sichuan Bana, and uh, we're heading towards the mountains. Uh, so we're just gonna stop for a little bite to eat. You can see that our <laughs> our Uber hit a BMW there, so they're gonna sort that out. We're gonna get some lunch. Go with the flow. <laughs> So we got back on the road after our accident and uh, headed out of the urban Sichuan Bana area. I've never been anywhere like this where the uh, everything is so different than what I'm used to in Canada and the US. You see we're in the lowlands here as we travel out of town. It's very rural. Uh, whoops, there's a cow. We're going to have to go around him. We're not yet in the mountains, but we're heading towards the mountains. Here we are starting to see some tea gardens, so I'm getting pretty excited about that. Uh, we're climbing a lot now, you can see from the view. It's getting prettier and prettier. This road was pretty new that you saw a clip of there. Uh, very, uh, very nice road a couple years ago. It was more like this one here. So I think we're in the final phase of our trek. Right on. So away we go. Uh, jungly around me. There's an old tree. Anyway, we'll say hi again when we're there. So we arrived now in the village and as you can see and hear, it's just a beautiful place. I'm At this point I'm super excited to just kind of walk around and take it in. It's an environment that I'm totally unfamiliar with. Jungle-like, but, but not so hot because we're quite high up. I'm really looking forward to seeing the process of making Puar for the first time and just meeting uh, the people in the village and just seeing what life's all about here in Zhanglong. I was pretty fascinated with all the sort of livestock or animals, uh, both penned and unpenned, so integrated. I had seen something similar to this in some of rural Europe, but not to quite the same extent. You'll see the panning walks there. Uh, many of the houses have these underneath. It was super interesting to see what people did in the afternoon with their time. Just so new and exciting. So this was super exciting, even though we had just we were just walking around the village, I actually got a chance to get my hands dirty and help out with some actual processing. A very, it's a pretty simple task, it's sifting. We're just pulling out the yellow tea here, but I was shown how to do it uh, and tried to help out a little bit. It's a very a long, a little bit boring process, but it was really exciting to finally get into it.
and participate. So they use this to do the shaping, the oh. hand shaping. So roll a bit at this time. So now it's, it's, this is where the rubber's hitting the road. I mean, I've read about this, I've heard about this, but I've never seen it firsthand. So I'm asking Jen tons of questions about what's going on. Uh, our host Jen Wen Singh here is doing a bit of uh, shaping and rolling. Uh, the smell here was amazing. Uh, I got to grab some of the leaf as he was working with it and just hold it up and smell it and start and get a feel for what uh, how the tea is affected. Uh, here's a look at some mao cha, which we'll be sipping later. So here we are in a little drying house that has clear walls and a clear ceiling to allow the sun to come through and dry the tea. It's actually quite a bit off the ground. We had to climb a little ladder to get in. And uh, Yan Wen Singh is just uh, packaging up some of his mao cha. I actually thought this lady was uh, doing some shaking, like the oolong process, but I was wrong. It's actually sifting. And believe me, she's strong. That is hard work. So now that the uh, mao cha is all packaged up from this drying room, uh, Yan Wen Singh is just spreading out some more tea to dry the next batch. And so it goes. This is how they uh, cook supper and everything. Still pretty traditional style. Look at here. What a great use of bamboo. So you can see the tools. Here. Just use the natural uh, divider of the bamboo, so they put those tools here. Ta -da. So we had a great afternoon. We got to see some activity in the village, uh, get involved with some of the processing. I got to, to actually help out a little bit. Uh, it was just a fascinating day, and uh, as the day winded down, we start to have some supper here. But uh, very shortly, I would realize the day was far from winding down. Uh, we had a great meal, but uh, the work day had really, really just begun for these folks. Because right after supper, it's back to work panning all the tea that had been plucked. I wish there was some way I could share the aroma that was present in that room with you out there. It was absolutely fascinating. This was my first time seeing Puar be made firsthand. Uh, what an experience. You can hear the tea sizzling as the water comes out. The lighting's a little low here, but we wanted to give you a sense of, uh, you know, there we're, we're working right into the night here to get this tea finished. There was quite an amount of plucking that had happened during the day, and it all has to be dealt with. It's not like it can just wait till tomorrow. After the night's rain, it was a beautiful misty morning as the sun slowly tried to break through. Good morning. Morning. <laughs> so it's um, all bright early here. It's in, a little um, misty. We had a big rain and I wind, think that was a storm. Windstorm, yeah. Like the, uh, the roofs were shaking so it sounded like thunder but it metal thunder. Anyway, um, what an experience. And we could hear uh, the trees like shaking, shaking. It's and the wind really blowing loud. through the trees, the odd animal call. Yeah. I yeah. have some sounds. Maybe we'll put some in. The local says this is kind of a normal, but I was like, oh, I hope the roof stays. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes it got pretty loud. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we had a great day. We're away. Yeah, um, now the rain is uh, kind of stopped. We were planning to go up to the uh, tea. 
farms or to the tea gardens, and I hope we can still do it. We'll see. We should be slower. We weren't 100% sure we would be able to go to the tea garden because of the weather. What? The bamboo is going through the tree. They're intertwined, huh? Uh -huh. But I had my fingers crossed big time because I really wanted to climb the mountain and see a Puar garden for the first time. I'm gonna go get my shirt off. So we're off the road now and into the forest. And I'm just trying to keep up with our host, uh, Yanwin. You can get a little sense of how steep it is here. I think the camera will probably rob, rob that perspective, but some sense. You can hear the wind in the trees too. It's pretty windy. It was rainy last night. So you can also get a sense in this tea garden here, how much shade is provided by other trees. Definitely a lot better than the one from 2016. Uh, it's pretty open. The ground was pretty absent of foliage. Like, look at this ground. It's full of leaves and sticks. There's lots of shade. I mean, these are practically wild. Beautiful. There's my tough mother-in-law who uh, insists on carrying the backpack all the way up the mountain. And you can hear that it's still pretty windy. That same storm last night. It's still generating lots of wind today. Coming up to a nice view here. lost my hat. Seems like as we get closer to the top, the wind gets stronger and stronger. Pretty much makes sense. Hi there, just want to throw in a little uh, information here. Uh, the altitude is uh, 1774. 1774. So, some of the trees are not plucked yet. Wait for the good weather. So, we're in this kind of a no road road. So you can see that our guide has been uh, <laughs> walking super fast and wait for us every now and then was, oh, watch out. Get you go see. And just gonna find a way over. And watch out for overhead trees. And watch out for uh, these things. Jeez, I have to do it and for the shoes. So, uh, so there are, when we walk, we can see little. Uh, yeah, cross over this first. We can see little uh, tea trees on the way. We're finally here. This is their tea garden. See, this leaf it can be made into single tree. It has enough, right? Yeah, it has, look at the bark. It's all about the trunk, how thick it is. Yeah, yeah. Once it's old enough. Oh, otherwise it's too... Young. Those are little ones. See what's hanging over there. See if I can find something here that hang up. Oh, here. Look at that. Oh, the moss hanging? Yeah. Can I focus there? See the moss? Yeah. Wow. Is this where they plant? Where they plant all around the whole mountain? 
No, every every houses they have their own uh, region. Yeah. So as you can see, this is the floor here, covered in all kinds of stuff. Here is the mini trail, if you can tell, and here is the wet moss on the branch. Nice, self focus. And look at this tree with all kinds of moss hanging down. Whoa, funky shape. With our deal, deal, deer fill there. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. What's inside? Found a little spot inside the tree. I don't know. Oh, it's so cute. Right? Ta-da! Let's look at the leaves. See how giant the big leaf ones. This is really, really old, but still compared with my hand. Oh, here we go. This is a better. It's a little torn at the end. Even better, maybe? Oh, yeah. This is Again, really old. Big leaf. Wow. What do you feel? Well, what's the uh, what's the right call? I made a little clip earlier and talk about how good this environment looks. Tons of shade, lots of uh, stick and leaf and uh, growth. But still some. You see, yeah, a, there's sun, above there's, that, it's I was not comparing it to 2016 visit, where right. it's just brown dirt. This is full of great nutrition, some good shade, almost wild feel. Yes. And uh, that it probably explains the flavor we experienced last night when we sipped those delicious teas. Right, and this one is not so, like a too much explored, this region. While the uh, other one that we visited was like almost developed into a tourist spot because of a bunch of... Uh, it became uh, famous. Yeah, old trees, ancient trees to be more specific. So these are the crab's feet? Up close and personal. You got those? A little video clip, yep. And it's pretty beautiful here. So we've been talking about ancient trees and old trees and tens and hundreds of year old trees. This is a really old tree right here beside me. And I wanted to explain one of the things that was confusing for me at first when we talked about old trees and I saw pictures of these quote unquote ancient trees and this is an ancient tree. Hundreds and hundreds of, hundreds and hundreds of years old. Is we're you or I was used. I'm used to trees that are giant when they're hundreds of years old. Like a family can't get their arms all linked around it. Um, but there's trees in Asia like Ying, Sing, and uh, Ti, which grow very, very slowly. The trunk doesn't grow in diameter as aggressively as the trees that we're used to. So I just wanted to explain that. If you were wondering how this tree can be hundreds, maybe thousands of years old, that's how. Let so, me set the scene. Oh, so. Okay. And we're just uh, setting up the scene here. <laughs> no, but they re I really found it like that, I swear. Yeah, it's on the tree. It's Look, some little berries. They, they fall out of the tree, I think, and land yes, on the teeth. Yes, they land on the teeth and on the ground. I picked some up and the, uh, the guy said uh, it's really delicious, sweet. So we tried it. How is it? It's really delicious and sweet. And fragrant. Mm. Fragrant, right? Like, like the way you eat it. It's, uh... Yeah, the fragrance is more in the green zone, not sweet like... Um, a fruit like mm -hmm. um i don't know yeah you're mm. really delicious i wouldn't have described that as fragrant but it is once you mention it because um so sweet it's rich and sweet i don't know what it is it's probably just the drops from this tree oh, tell, but yeah. oh my back anyway really <laughs> really unique i've never seen that before Hey, we're up in the mountain. Yes. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't ask you what the video is about. <laughs> I don't know either because we took so many videos in this area showing the teas and stuff. Mm -hmm. I just feel like it's good to do a video just you and me. And uh, yeah, I don't know what to talk about either. Anyway, we're in a garden. We found, uh, found the place is beautiful, plenty of diversity, plenty of shade, uh, lots of natural foliage and growth on the ground. Uh, we even found some uh, 
yummy snacks that fell from the trees, pretty sweet, weird little fruit type of thing. I mean, this place is just amazing. And, um, yeah. Um, I just really like la, la, la. this part. Lai lai lai, yes, lai lai lai. All those uh, hanging moths. Yes, like, look at that. It's just a moth. Oh, we saw some crab's there. feet too, which was really cool. Yes. That's very rare. Yes, really pretty. I love those little things to grow on this tree. So we found another fruit tree. And the guy just threw the sticks there. I went and got it. Oh, here, here. I just chuck the stick at the tree. Do you want to try it? Uh, Do you want to try it? I don't know. We missed that. Okay, okay. We'll see how we can get something. Ready? <laughs> So that's I, think, I think it's a skill you got to acquire. <laughs> Just uh, setting up our navigation and there's a herd of... Uh... Ni hao. There's a herd of walking by with some cattle. Cool.